With the football season in limbo and the entire world unsure of how the transfer market will be affected by the loss of revenues due to the break in play, it is unlikely we will see many major transfers happen this summer. Nonetheless, one particular transfer that has received a significant amount of buzz and speculation is that of the generational talent Jude Bellingham being linked to Manchester United. In recent times, Manchester United have changed their transfer strategy and are looking to sign the top British talents and get in a good young core of players. This was evident last summer through the signings of Daniel James, Aaron Wambasaka, and Harry Maguire, and a move for Bellingham fits in line with this philosophy. But who is this wonder kid who at 16 is already being linked to a move to some of the big six like Chelsea, Manchester United, Manchester City, and even foreign clubs such as Borussia Dortmund? Let's find out. Jude Bellingham joined Birmingham when he was eight and quickly rose up the ranks in the academy. On a podcast with Sky Sports, former Birmingham City manager Gary Rowett even stated that he was the most sought after 12 year old in the world at one point. He played for Birmingham's under 18s at age 14 and the under 23s at 15. While still a schoolboy, he was listed in 442's list of the 50 most exciting teenagers in English football. He was brought into the senior setup at the start of the 2019-20 season, where he became the youngest player to start for Birmingham City at 16 years and 38 days. He slowly became a permanent fixture in the Birmingham City side and was even named the EFL Young Player of the Month in November 2019. Before the season was stopped abruptly, Bellingham had played 32 games in the Championship, scoring four goals and providing three assists from midfield. In the January transfer window, many clubs, including United, pursued the youngster aggressively. Furthermore, it was reported that Manchester United even made a £20 million bid on deadline day for the Englishman, which was turned down by Birmingham City. But that hasn't dissuaded the Red Devils in their pursuit of the Wonder Kid. He was shown around the Carrington training complex in March, where he was joined by his parents as they held talks with manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Sir Alex Ferguson and United's chief transfer negotiator, Matt Judge. Bellingham is currently on an academy wage, earning a reported measly £145 a week, but with a move to United on the horizon, he could become one of the highest paid teenagers in football. The wage package, along with the prospect of developing at the Theatre of Dreams, could be enough incentive for Bellingham to make the switch to Manchester in the summer. United's biggest competition to sign Bellingham comes from Dortmund, as they were tipped as the favourites to sign the young midfielder before the lockdown, and were reportedly offering the Englishman a better project and a proven pathway for his development. Sky Sports reported that some folks in Germany were convinced that Bellingham was going to join Dortmund and follow the footsteps of Jadon Sancho. Dortmund have developed players such as Usman Dembele, Christian Pulisic, Jadon Sancho and Hakimi in recent times and proved that the Bundesliga and Dortmund especially are the perfect breeding ground for players like Bellingham to develop. With football currently in a state of paralysis, many teams in the championship could be facing a cash crunch due to the lack of match day and broadcast revenues, which could force Birmingham City to sell their team sensation as they would be in need of the funds to offset any losses made during this period. The club could even be forced to accept a lower transfer fee as compared to normal times to mitigate these outlandish circumstances and a bid in the region of £30 million may be enough to secure the services of Bellingham from Birmingham. Jude Bellingham is an all-action central midfielder and so early on in his career he's already been compared to the likes of Deli Alley and Steven Gerrard. This season he's played on the right and the left of midfield but the majority of his starts have come from central midfield in Pep Clotet's 4-4-2 formation. Despite his young age, he has quite an athletic build, is just under six feet tall and will continue to grow into his body. He's gifted technically and has incredibly quick feet along with some silky moves in his arsenal. His performances have shown that he's defensively sound and can get stuck in while also providing a goal threat by making late runs into the box. He averages 8.7 joules per 90 minutes with a success rate of 62%. These figures are astonishing considering the most coveted young midfielder in the world, Eduardo Camavinga of Rennes, averages 10.27 joules per 90 minutes with a success rate of 59%. He is also in the top 20 in the championship for tackles made, despite only starting 25 of the 37 possible games. Bellingham can also contribute from an attacking perspective and is a creative passer of the ball while also having a great understanding of space in the final third for someone of his age. At Manchester United, Bellingham would be in contention for one of the midfield slots as United's central midfield has been their Achilles heel over the past year. Paul Pogba's future is uncertain. At 32, Nemanja Matic is past his prime. Juan Mata is simply a squad player now 
and the likes of Andres Pereira and Jesse Lingard have failed to impress with the chances they've been given. Bellingham would fit in perfectly at United in Solskjaer's 4-2-3-1 system, either as the number 10 or alongside the likes of Pogba, Fred or McTominay in the midfield pivot behind Bruno Fernandes. It's unlikely Bellingham would start at this point in time given the options United have in front of him, but he would provide good competition for places along with a dynamic option to come in from the bench, which is something United have lacked this season. However, there are some considerations that after signing with the Red Devils, he may be loaned back to Birmingham to help continue his development by playing regular first team football in the Championship, instead of being stuck on the bench or in the youth ranks at Manchester. In today's day and age, we throw out the term wonder kid and hype up footballers too early, but in the case of Jude Bellingham, it would be a disservice to not recognise his ability and potential. The youngster will have to make one of the biggest decisions of his life in the near future and choose whether to follow the likes of Sancho and move abroad to continue his progress or choose the red half of Manchester where he can develop and usher in a new era of greatness at the biggest football club in the world. Well that's it for today, but what do you think? Will Bellingham choose United over Dortmund? And will this be a good signing for United in the current situation? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon and click here to watch some of our latest videos. See you all soon.